So what I want to really leave you with is how to set up a portfolio. What does a good portfolio look like? And this is some of the structure that you could have. So this is how I've structured my portfolio. So I have 10% for day trading. So that's in the risk section. Then I have ICOs, which I have as medium and quite risky as well, because there's been a lot of pumping and dumping with these uh, over recent time. So I still see ICOs as very profitable, but at the same time, quite high risk. Then I have medium term portfolio which literally I buy I wait for it to 100% and then I sell half keep half put it in the long term and then go out and buy something else that I believe is great value and then in the far left hand corner we have the long term so in the top is your large cap so you won't be surprised to see your bitcoins your litecoins those type of things your ethereum in there and obviously the, then the smaller caps as well so just as a, an example so these are some coins that I am holding. So this isn't my full portfolio, but just a, an overview of some of the things I have. So currently trading Stratis and Z Classic. You can see some of the ICOs I recently bought. And obviously don't take any of this as financial advice because it's not. All it is is to give you an overview of what potentially a portfolio could look like. Uh, in the medium term, I have some fun fair st status, Bitcoin Cash, where I'm able to just double up and, and keep, you know, getting my hundred percent there then I got you know long-term Bitcoin Litecoin Ethereum you know you'd expect that in there and obviously with some of the other key things Bitcoin so obviously that platform and 10x with the credit cards and stuff so that just hopefully gives you a bit of an overview a bit of a flavor of how you should start to structure a portfolio instead of just buying loads of random coins and not really know what you're doing and then what coins do what and what categories do they sit in and here you can see that there are lots of different categories the biggest thing I would say is when you're looking at coins look at you know we've been over loads of stuff but what is unique about them what is different what areas do they sit in what problems do they fix because if they don't fix a problem there's no need for the coin or give a solution to something but hopefully this is a little chart that will just help you out and just finally, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you for taking part in this course. I hope you've learned lots and lots, which hopefully will take you onto the markets and make you a lot of money. And if you'd like to get involved with our free Facebook group, it's Cryptocurrency Community. Uh, we'd love to have you. It'd be great to, to catch up after you've been on the course, get some feedback as well. So thank you very much. If you liked today's video, please leave a like or a comment. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, or check out the new ICO Discount Club website where you can check out all the new ICOs, great discounts, and also prize giveaways. As always, I hope you got great value out of today's video, and I'll catch you on the next one soon. I'm feeling